Hey folks, it's Nate. Thanks for joining me once again as we look to the horizon. And today, I'm back with my weekly writing vlog. I have finally gotten my backlog built up again, so I have two weeks of backlog uh, of story built up. So I feel pretty good about that. It is nice to have that buffer back in place. Um, and I have found that as I've worked on this, my ability to concentrate on other things has kind of scattered which is unusual. I don't know. I don't know if unusual is the right word. I have found that when I have writer's block or when I'm editing something, it is helpful for me to have another project going, whether I'm just writing a few pages here and there or whether I am um, drafting and outlining uh, bullet points or things like that. But I found as I have really, since I have this story already basically 100% outlined, um, I have found that writing it is coming very naturally to me. And I'm, I just find myself getting buried in the process. And then when I try and pivot to something else, which I can usually do fairly easily, I, I'm not able to do it. I don't know if this is an evolution of my normal writing style or if, um, if I am just... I have found that as I write these particular stories, the, uh, the Triad World novels, I have had most of the story, really more than I thought of the story, worked out in my head, in my subconscious, or um, you know, as, as bits and pieces that will rapidly come together as I sit down and write. And as I've been working on it, I have just found these pieces coming together again very quickly. And I haven't really, I don't think I've really experienced this in anything else I've written. Um, Burning Bright seemed to flow very naturally as well, uh, which is why I think this might be an evolution of my writing style as I've really gotten settled into um, the rhythm and the flow of putting a story together from outline to finished product. Um, but I don't know. It's, it's hard to tell whether this is um, something that will continue to be the case, whether I will simply sink into one project and knock a large chunk of that out before I'm ready to pivot to something else now, or whether it's these particular projects that have been stewing for a very long time that seem to be coming naturally. I don't know for sure. Um, this is definitely something that's worth uh, paying attention to, I think, as I go forward. I think it is important to pay attention to your process and deliberately aim to maximize it. Um, a lot of people just say, well, you got to go with the flow. You got to do whatever feels right at the moment. And I think that's true to a certain degree. You can't rush art. You can't force it. But developing disciplines and habits and, and methodologies will definitely help you enter the zone where you can really create effectively much faster and more consistently. Uh, you can't force inspiration. You can't force... Um, a good idea, but you can uh, make it so that when you have a good idea, and again, those are much more plentiful than you think they are, um, when you have that good idea, you are prepared to capitalize on, <clears throat> excuse me, you are prepared to capitalize on it a lot better than you would be other under other circumstances. And I think, I think I have developed the tools to develop and uh, capitalize on my story ideas a lot better than I had, say, 10 years ago. Um, and as a result, maybe I am, when I actually start to work on a thing, I am much better prepared to go through that process. And I've laid a lot of the groundwork better so that it comes more naturally. And I don't have to spend as much time struggling with writer's block. We'll see uh, as, I, as I move on to other stories. Um, I haven't noticed this quite as much with the Roy Harper adventures I've been writing. Uh, I don't know if that's because they're shorter stories that I don't, I don't think about as much before I commit them to paper. Or maybe it's just a difference uh, between the kinds of material I'm working on. It, it's hard to tell. Uh, but I, I am going to be paying attention to this. I will probably be talking about it a lot more on this blog because I do think it is important for writers to analyze how they do their craft, not just the, the product of their craft, but how they do their craft, the kinds of techniques they use, and refine those techniques so they can really apply them consistently and well. Um, 
a carpenter pays attention to the best way to use a saw to get a straight cut. He pays attention to the best way to um, swing his hammer so it consistently hits a nail, uh, to drive in nails straight and flat and not you know, bend them and have to extract them a whole bunch. Um, every workman, every even artist, you know, a painter pays attention to how they use their brush to get a specific result. A musician pays attention to the way they are applying vibrato as they finger the strings or the way they are um, holding their mouth as they blow air through their trumpet. All of these are techniques that are part of how you create art. They are not the inspiration. They are not the pure idea. They are the application and skills. Um, and I think the, the development of, of how you write, how you develop ideas, and how you focus your mind on them when you sit down to write them, these are important techniques for authors to explore just as much as prose or use of dialogue. Um, so I will continue talking about these as we go forward. And I, I think it's very interesting um, to, to see this change in my writing style play out because I definitely did not write with such a singular focus uh, even maybe 18 months ago, a year and a half ago. Um, and again, I don't know what it is. Maybe I am just finally finding that stride. Maybe, uh, maybe I am focusing better on one thing or another. We'll keep workshopping that. Um, the upshot of this is I think that I'm going to have to get uh, a little bit further ahead on the gospel according to Earth and then set it aside for a couple weeks so I can focus on um, you know, the, the minutia of getting Burning Bright out because a lot of that has fallen on along the wayside this week because I just found myself wanting to focus on, on the gospel according to Earth and knocking that out. We'll, again, we'll see what happens here. Um, but I find myself just writing that a lot of the time this week. So that's your update. Uh, interesting things there. Not exactly what I wanted to happen this week, but um, something worth observing. Um, sometimes you got to go with the flow and see where it takes you and learn what you can from it. Anyway, that's all I got for you today. Uh, if you have thoughts on this, there's a comment box down below. You can leave those there. The like button and subscribe button down there. You can use those as you see fit. And I will talk to you later.